Last week in RV life, we took you to the oldest inland town in Florida. And this week, we take advantage of the rainy days to catch up on our art projects. And ponder some of life's bigger questions as we kayak down the Alexander Springs River Run. So what does a mating alligator sound like anyway? I'm Tammy and this is my husband Scott. We are two artists who when faced with mounting health challenges decided life's way too short. So we sold our home and most of our stuff to move into a home on wheels. We are now in our second year in an even smaller RV and along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes, experiences, and friends. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through this RV lifestyle and until further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. Hello. How are you all out in YouTube land? We are at Alexander Springs in Ocala National Forest. We're gonna get out on our inflatable kayak and check it out. Is that heavy? Yeah. So it was 17 bucks for two people with our own kayak to get in and they provide dollies to wheel your kayak down, which is incredible because we were worried about how we were going to handle this heavy kayak. We need to get a dolly. Do you have any recommendations for a good collapsible or compact cart for an inflatable kayak? It's like our kayak's 16 feet long and it is challenging to tote. So we need to get some wheels. Drop a comment below if you've got any ideas, if you have a good set that you would recommend. All right, let's get this baby pumped up. All right, let's, let's go do this thing. How come your hat's all Crocodile Dundee handsome and I look like a dork? Well, Crocodile Dundee, uh, well, yeah, it is kind of. Yeah. Alligator Dundee. Yeah. There's no crocodiles here. Alligator Dundee. Apparently that was Sydney the snapping turtle holding onto the kayak so it doesn't float away. And to our right is the swimming area. We're gonna check that out after we get our workout in. And to the left is the run. And it's not very busy today. It's a Thursday, 80 something degrees. So yeah, and they have a campground. Of course, all these springs campgrounds book up, but boy, it'd be fun to like hop to different springs and camp and just spend like a week at everyone maybe next year we should do that all right the kayak is now floating away and i need to use both hands we'll see you on the water that was graceful A lot easier than uh, yeah. the old one. I actually think you could stand up in this one. Okay, here we come. These spring waters are just so clear and beautiful. You can see all the fish, the turtles underneath. Amazing. Obsessed with the springs in Florida. Gonna check everyone off my bucket list.
Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounds like a uh, combo between a bullfrog and a snorting pig. We're wondering, is that alligator mating calls? If you heard that and you know, let us know in the comments below. We found a good uh, stopping log so we could sit in the shade and have lunch. Surrounded by what I'm sure are just birds making that noise, right? All right, now we're cruising through the lily pads. We went about a mile and a half to the bridge and you can keep going beyond the bridge, but it gets really grassy and thick. And we're gonna turn around and go back upstream to the head springs and maybe go put our toes in. Are you gonna get in the springs? I think so. There's that noise again. What are you doing back there? Getting ready to go swimming. So we just came and tied up to the rope line that divides the swimming area and the paddling area. And we're gonna just jump in right here. Hey, jeez Louise. What? I thought you were gonna tip us over. <laughs> How are we gonna get back in once we get out? That's what I'm wondering right now. Never ever in the history of Scott and Tammy has Tammy gotten in the water before Scott. It feels amazing. I don't know what's wrong with him. It feels so good. It's kind of like uh, Colorado, the Glenwood Springs pool, except here you got snakes and alligators and otters. There is no alligators in this section. You're right, the rope keeps out the alligators. Worth it. That was a cloudburst. Lightning everywhere. Wait five minutes and it'll be dry out. We're gonna walk down to the dock now that the storm's passed and look at the water and the light's really beautiful right now. See what we can see. Just for the record, there's still lightning and thunder happening. I'm not sure how smart it this is. But Scott wanted to come get the light. The osprey are building a nest up there in the trees behind us. You might be able to hear them. Every day it's a wildlife adventure around here. We love it. So straight out in front of us, a gator just popped up. The reason is, is because this behind me is the fish cleaning station and I think that they no, when people are out here, they think the fish are gonna come down the chute. And so, this time in the evening, you see them pop up and come over this way. Yeah, and we went kayaking out there in an inflatable with a sharp teeth fella back there. No biggie. Just another day in paradise in old Florida. If you haven't been into the old parts of Florida, you gotta come check it out. Wilderness, beauty, Mossy trees, old oaks, it's amazing. All right, we're gonna hang out with the sunset and uh, see you tomorrow. We're having artsy craft day in the RV today because we've been under the weather. The weather's not great, so we're gonna just spend a little arty time. And Scott, what are you painting? Cats aren't allowed in the paint. Jasper just got paint all over him. This is not a good start. So this is gonna be the first painting I've done of Florida material. And I'm painting the emerald cut over on Rock Creek that we went down in a kayak. That's where the water was just incredibly transparent and palm trees sticking up out of the water. And oh man, it was gorgeous. I'm gonna try my best to capture the way that it felt to be there. So, and what I'm doing here is I've just got one tone that I'm just kind of penciling in where things go and I'm blocking in the background, trying to get some coverage on here and get it to, uh, get it to somewhat reflect what I want it to look like when it has paint on it. 
and it's a rainy day today. It's the perfect day to be doing this. That wraps up this week's video. So till further notice. Till further notice, we're going to be on a mission to explore, create, and inspire. And next week, we're going to take you to the Atlantic coast and do some exploring. And we might just hang out at the campground, take you to another low country boil. So you get a little bit of RV life in the campground and a little bit of explore. A bit of southern culture. See you next week. Not sexy. Not good. You have to go on first so you gotta help me. Ease me in. I'm not sure how we're getting back in the kayak, but uh, so further notice we're gonna chill out in the springs for a minute and cool down.